This is the JTV Caribbean News. I am Sean Rose. United States Vice President Joe Biden and the CARICOM Chairman, Haiti President Mikel Martelli, signed a U.S. CARICOM Trade and Investment Framework Agreement during Biden's visit to Trinidad and Tobago. The agreement took place following a meeting between CARICOM heads of government and Biden in Port of Spain on May 28th. In a statement, CARICOM said the agreement was expected to drive strengthened trade and investment ties between CARICOM and the U.S. as it would serve as a mechanism for the two sides to develop practical strategies on a wide range of trade, investment and economic cooperation issues. The agreement will be executed under the mechanism of the CARICOM U.S. Trade and Investment Council. The agreement's initial action agenda sets out several areas for joint attention, including bilateral trade and investment agreements, regional and multilateral cooperation, and the facilitation of trade and investment opportunities, according to the CARICOM statement. CARICOM said the agreement would also address the digital divide by promoting innovation and the dissemination of technology. CARICOM leaders said one of the issues of critical and urgent importance to the region was the threat faced by CARICOM exports of rum in the U.S. market and the U.S. Antigua gaming dispute. China's President Xi Jinping arrived in Trinidad on Friday, May 31 for a three-day visit, during which time he will meet with CARICOM leaders. The visit follows that of the United States Vice President Joe Biden, and according to a Chinese embassy statement, the visit is to further increase political trust and consolidate friendship and cooperation with the entire region. The Chinese president will meet with at least eight CARICOM leaders whose countries continue to have diplomatic relations with Beijing instead of Taiwan, that China regards as a renegade province and has been urging countries to accept the one-China policy in their foreign relations. China said through the bilateral meetings, it is hoping to promote cooperation in various areas and inject new vitality to the friendship between the countries. Latin American and Caribbean states can access new forms of bilateral and and multilateral China aid through the recently established Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, as well as through wider regional economic and financial entities such as the Inter-American Development Bank and the Caribbean Development Bank. China is a contributing and a non-boring member of both institutions. Dominica will send a letter to the British government seeking permission to recognize the Trinidad-based Caribbean Court of Justice, the CCJ, as its final court, replacing the London-based Privy Council, Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has said. Skerritt says it is now time for Dominica to move full speed ahead with the recognition of the CCJ as its final court. Neighboring St. Lucia delayed joining the CCJ to allow for consultations. Last weekend, the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court of Appeal ruled that St. Lucia does not require a referendum before becoming a full member of the CCJ. Established in 2001, the CCJ, which has both an original and appellate jurisdiction, also functions as an international tribunal interpreting the revised Treaty of Chagaramas that governs the regional integration movement CARICOM. While a number of countries, including St. Lucia, are signatories to the original jurisdiction of the court, only Barbados, Guyana and Belize are members of the appellate jurisdiction. The government of Montserrat and Britain's Department for International Development, DFID, are full of praise for the new online visa system that is said to be making it easier for travelers to visit Montserrat. The Montserrat visa application went online last September. It allows anyone wishing to travel to Montserrat who is in a country identified as needing a visa to apply online and get a response within one day for a one-time fee of $50. US dollars. Prior to the online application, persons wishing to travel to Montserrat had to go to the nearest British embassy, hoping that they got approval for a visa. The online visa application process is said to help meet the Strategic Growth Program plans of increasing tourism development and facilitating easier access for travelers to Montserrat. The new process also adds revenue directly to Montserrat as opposed to the country where previous applications were processed. Work has already begun to create a similar system to process resident permits online as soon as July 1, 2013. 
Regional carrier Liat is currently negotiating a U.S. $60 million loan with the Caribbean Development Bank to assist with the replacement of its aging Dash 8 fleet with modern ATR-72 aircraft from July. Chairman of the Liat Shareholder Governments and St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves made this disclosure during a press conference following a shareholders meeting last Friday in Barbados. He said the loan would also be used to replace the burnt-out hangar facilities in Antigua and added that plans to acquire the 12 ATR-72s were on target and that the planes would be purchased by 2014. Gonsalves said the current Dash 8 fleet was costly to maintain and therefore the acquisition of new aircraft was critical to Liat's operations. Meanwhile, Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Baldwin Spencer, said Liat was vital to the region and its people and noted that Liat has been in the air for some 57 years and without it all respective economies would be affected. He urged other member states to recognize the importance of Liat to the region. Spencer said there was scope for other countries to support Liat and stressed that he would use every opportunity to continue to lobby in this regard. For the JTV Caribbean News, I am Sean Rose. Coming up next on JTV News. Vino chairman responds to accusations of unethical journalistic standards and agrees that online blogs are outrageous. More men and youth taking HIV tests is seen as an encouraging development. Students at St. George's Primary learn about tourism and financial services during their career day. And many enjoy the three-day music festival. Oh, 